There's Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV, signing in. Blunt Force Trauma, Vengeance for Nothing is the album. Track two of nine. Blind Devotion, let's go. Oh. We might move on to Internal Bleeding coming up, alright? I've never listened to that band, but I know some people are mad at it. Somebody says some OG hardcore influence, Internal Bleeding and New York punk style. And someone reckons a bit of Dying Fetus in there. What does that riff sound like? Da, 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 da. There's a, uh, I think it was put out around the same time. There's a band called Backtrack, a New York band called Backtrack. And they put a record out. I think it was like their, their most popular song they ever did before they broke up. Um, called Darker Half. I think that was the tune, Darker Half. It has a riff like that. Da, 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 da. It was like the most popular riff they did. <laughs> I'll be real, this tune in particular, the first riff and this riff, I f uh, go. I think that's corny, I think that's corny, I think we should stick to the brutality, I think the more like upbeat sections don't really suit this band, in all honesty. <laughs>
Come on. Well, whilst... Oh, was that it? That was the end. That was so abrupt. It just kills it off there, last five seconds. Um, yeah, I think I think on that track they've sort of given me a showcase of what I don't want a slam band to be. It sort of verges a little bit more so on heavy hardcore, and heavy hardcore can be incredibly bland. You know, some oh let's let's keep going. We got we got a couple of comments to read from this next one. We got track three coming up. Let's keep going.